Are we on? We're on. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron Berkshire. Thank you for checking out this video. If you appreciate the gear that I talk about or my message or anything about these videos, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification on, tell a friend, tell a family member, and let's get into this. All right, guys, welcome back. Today we are talking about the Canon R5. Yeah, I've been wanting to talk about this camera for a long time. We have two of them. This is our go-to camera every single day. We shoot everything on it. Now we do have an R6 up here and we do love the R6 and I'm probably about to pick up an R6 too. Might pick up an R3 before the end of the year. I wanna know you guys' thoughts below. Do you think the R5 is still killing it even though it has some technical difficulties? technical difficulties. What do you mean by that, Aaron? Well, I mean this thing gets hot. It overheats. It does. Even with the firmware updates, they still get hot on a hot summer day, especially in Florida. So what do you do? Well, what I did was we bought two. And with two, if one starts overheating, I can go to the other one, even though it's probably still warm and ready to overheat, just waiting on for me to record in 4K 120 all eye and just waiting to overheat on me. But we have two. We also have an R that I'm shooting on right here. And then we have an R6 that my wife shoots on at weddings when we're all shooting with all four cameras at one time. Otherwise, when I'm touring and doing concerts or, or football photography or anything like that, videography, I have three cameras on me so I can switch back and forth. But the reason we're talking about this video is because it's 2023, it's halfway through the year, and I want to know your guys' thoughts on the R5. Are you still using it? Are you still slaying everything with it? Do you still love the capabilities of this thing, even though it does overheat a little bit? Are you guys still crushing it on a regular basis? And let me tell you what we shoot on these R5s. Product videography and photography every single day for Amazon videos, weddings, NFL photography, videography, sports concert videography for photography all kinds of modeling and beautiful portraits uh tons of slow-mo b-roll tons of all all kind oh interviews we just did an interview recently all kinds of things that we're shooting on this r5 and it's absolutely the greatest camera that i've ever used but i still want to upgrade you know everybody wants more when they have a great camera they still want a better camera and for me I think going into this new NFL season, I definitely want to step my game up with an R3 possibly. But when it comes to product videography, my wife tells me she doesn't need a new camera. She's perfectly fine just shooting on these R5s. So why do we need a new camera? Let's, let's get into that a little bit. Well, for instance, better specs. For me, I want to be able to shoot some 1080 240, which is just incredible. Uh, even though 124K is always amazing already, I want to be able to shoot some even slower stuff. Even though it's 1080, 240 is just so slow. And for some of my HD 1080 stuff that I shoot on the fly for football, for social media, for cell phone purpose only, I think the 240 frame rate would be cool to be able to use. Also, more frames per second. When you're doing photography of fast moving subjects, when it's on the electronic shutter, I forgot the exact amount. Either way, I know the R3 is faster. I know there are faster cameras. The R5 really does get it done for me and I haven't needed to upgrade yet. But when you own a business, eventually you're gonna have to make purchases to be able to write off to help your business. And for us, it's all gear. It always has to be gear. So I buy a camera every single year. This next year, I'll probably pick up an R3 or an R6 too. But also, tell me what you think of the R5. Tell me if you guys are still crushing it with this. Didn't mean for this to be a super long video. I just wanted to talk about uh, the R5 and how much we love it. And I want to know y'all's opinions if there is upgrading in your future or if you just aren't even on Canon at all. Maybe you're just shooting on your Sony or your Fujifilm or your Nikon. Maybe you're not a Canon user at all, but in this household, we are Canon users and we do shoot on an R5 every day, but I know it gets better and I want to up my game, but sometimes I just don't even think it's necessary when we're making a living and we're making great product and great content every day on what we already have. And you know, this camera has been out for a while now and it is amazing and I'm not complaining, but I know that there is still better out there. So 
Tell me your thoughts below. Canon R5 for you guys or much more out there. Thank you for checking out this quick video. Until the next one, peace.